Queens, it's Queen Nisha, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 7 of Asteroid and Love, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> Uh, several days ago. Oh, so you didn't have to do that. Oh. Hey, but I bet you the pancakes is good as well. Like everything, honestly, that they made for the freaking festival looked really good and it just made me really hungry that that day. Oh my god, you know <laughs> So good. No. Yes, you are. You got this. I mean, Susu can help too. Ow. <laughs> awesome. Dude, it felt so weird not to have this last week. I mean, even though it was a recap episode, it's just like, you know how you expect something and then it's not there and your day just feels like off because you're missing something. It just feels like something big is missing. And it, that's what it felt like last night. I mean, that's well, last Friday. Even though I had just one show, I was like, damn. I was like, I really missed this show. I was like, it's so good. But uh, it just felt so weird. And for it to be back, it's just mm, the ice and everything. One thing I did hear about this is, okay, since we know that it's going to be in the Kinetta Fantasy game, and I started replaying that just last week. Um, so I'm assuming that all these girls are going to be. As of right now, it's only Mira and Al because they're doing this. Um, I don't know if they're going to do it today. But from yesterday, there was, um, they were giving away free gems and they had a picture of Nina and Al in their like outfits together. And I was like, oh my God, you look so fucking cute. So I'm hoping like Suzu, Mono Senpai, and Sakai 
and you know, I just, I need these girls. I need all these freaking girls to be in this damn game because I mean, as of right now, I'm trying to save. I got one of my best girls from late back camp, and I'm just like, I need to save for other people so I can play some more. But if all all these girls come, I think the ones that I probably want the most, maybe Mita. Um, of course, Eno, because Eno. <laughs> Eno is the precious baby that we need to protect. It's okay. Are we sure? <laughs> mm. Yeah, our kids today are like that. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do something. Go email. No? Oh. Mm. Well, it looks like somebody isn't that interesting. At least you guys are trying. I just think she's not up to it. I like this kid over here that's doing that. That's, oh my god. He's so cute. Yeah, there's not a lot of kids that can be interested in everything. <laughs> you know who she kind of looks like? <laughs> Me and a sister. <laughs> Only if she had a lot of, like, if her hair was more red and white. Almost like Mita. Yeah, but they're more than that. No, Alan, you're doing perfect.
It looks like a bow tie in a way. Yeah. Oh, my God, you know. Oh. They were so perfect, too. Oh, it's shooting sun. She was holding a book. <laughs> you can go talk to her after school, though. Yeah. So it had to be what she was holding in her hands when she was on the phone with you last night. Maybe it was something her mom said to her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you know...
But there's still something wrong, isn't there? Oh, you know. It just takes practice, you know. Oh, even now? <laughs>
You still want to be happy and positive and upbeat for her. Okay, I really like this episode. One, Al, you know, the little girl that Al was talking to at first, I thought she wasn't going to be the type of child who was going to be like, yeah, I'm not interested in it. I don't want to know anything about it. I've seen it all in a book. I don't really want to see it, you know, up in the stars, looking in the telescope, and shit like that. But it just took one talk with Al for her to be interested in it. And that's usually sometimes what it takes for kids. Sometimes not every kid is going to be interested and in things that you're interested in it's okay um think about the things that you know people who work at daycares or something do i mean you never really truly know unless you try but oh my god you know my baby you know i feel so bad for her i mean she the legacy that she has to live up to because you know her senpai is graduating and going on to college and everything and the pressure that she gets yeah everybody feels like that i mean there are days where, like, I've sat and when I rewatch, when I watched k on for the first time, and I was like, oh my god, like, they're gonna leave my baby Ozmion by herself, and she's gonna handle it on her own, and I was like, we're not gonna be able to see it, but just imagine how she's gonna be handling it on her own and stuff, but yeah, I mean, she has positivity, and doing this thing is gonna help her to make that first step to being on her own, to not be able to hide behind her some by shadow to be her own person and stuff and to shine on her own without any help. I think it could possibly do good for them. I'm not 100% sure. We're only really going to know until next week, but who knows? I mean, it could be good. It could be bad. She just needs a little more help on her, you know, her camera taking <laughs> photography because baby tried her best, but yeah, she's like a, she a newbie. <laughs> I'm still laughing about the fact that she's like, yeah, that's the reason why I can't take pictures on my phone. And like, oh, you poor thing, you poor precious baby. She's just so adorable with everything that she does. Like, oh my god. But like, literally, this whole episode, every single time we watch her face came in, she would always cry. And we're like, oh, it's okay. But there's going to be one day where she's not going to be able to come to the club room. And I think when that day comes for you know, that's when she's truly just going to probably, maybe possibly break down and stuff and just be super upset or she might break down a little bit but then she'll be like you know she'll always be with me and same thing with what's her face even though um sakura she got her recommendation and everything for school and the other one didn't she'll get something it's coming for her it's just gonna take a little bit more longer and just the stress of you know the girls worrying about their son is like, yeah, we've all been through that. Just we're hoping and praying that, you know, something positive comes for them. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to Beatrice, episode 7 of Asteroid and Love. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys, especially all next Friday for episode 8. Bye, guys.